What's going on, Doji Fam? And welcome to another episode of What Really Happened, the series where I take movies and summarize them in the most comedic way possible. You know how it goes. Shamar's here. Say what up, Shamar. What up? Yeah, we back to cover John Wick Chapter 2. Chapter 2? Cha chapter 2? Chapter 2. Is it? I'm pretty sure. Yes. It could just be John Wick 2. Chapter they could have just added the chapter at the 3. Nah, it's Chapter 2. All right. All right. John Wick Chapter 2. Play my intro, son! So John Wick Chapter 2. Surprisingly enough, takes place four days after John Wick 1. As you guys remember, my man had his dog killed and he got his car stolen. He got a bench for his dog, but he never got his car back. So now my boy is going to Vigo's brother's place to get his car back, right? Fucking up mad people on the way. Vigo's brother's losing his shit. He's like, yo, why the fuck would they give me this guy's car knowing full well that he's a Tasmanian devil and he's gonna come over here and fuck with my shit? This man killed a guy with a fucking pencil. I'm good. But John Wick doesn't hear him, so he keeps on doing his thing. Killing mad people, right? Gets his car back. Fucks up his car in the process of getting his car back, which defeated the whole purpose. <laughs> the whole purpose. My man came back to get his car, and now his car is all types of fucked up, right? After he beats up everybody, mind you, he got hit by a car during this whole scuffle, which makes absolutely no sense. He, he keeps getting hit by cars. He, my man could take the most beatingest of beatings. My man was getting hit by cars. My man was getting beat by brolic ass fucking boss characters. Like, didn't make any sense, but he still got back up and kept on fighting. I don't know, man. John Wick, filled with complete and undeniable will, I guess. Anyways, he finishes killing all the people that were guarding his car, right? Goes to Vigo's brother and is like, hey, let's have peace. You know, like we don't need to be fighting all the time, right? Vigo's brother's like, can a man like you know peace though? And then John Wick is like, I mean, why not? I'm not trying to give smoke all the time. Like I'm chilling. So they make peace. John Wick goes back home. He's chilling. He has his dog. He's having a happy life, right? Some random ass nigga named, named Santino just appears at his door, right? Just appears, just knocks in his door, appears in his house. Is like, yo, what's good? He's an old friend of John Wick, so John Wick just lets him in, right? He goes to John and he's like, hey, remember that time when I did you that one solid? Guess what, bro? Coming back for the solid you owe me. So let's let's fall back a little bit, right? So in the John Wick universe, there are these things called markers. They're basically over glorified IOUs, essentially saying that, Shamar, if I were to go to you and say, hey man, I'm gonna kill, I don't know, this person that's bothering you for you, and I'll do, I'll set this marker for myself and I'll give it to you. That means sometime down the line, you have to do me a favor. And it has to be with it. And then Shamar dies. That's how markers works, people. <laughs> Anyways, right? Santino goes to John Wick and he's like, hey, got this marker. You owe me one, son. I'm the person that got you out the game. Because apparently Santino's a person that did whatever favor that was needed to get John Wick out the assassin game, right? John Wick is like, nah, bruh. I don't live that life anymore. Get out of my face. Santino's like, all right, cool. Cool, you know, do your thing. I won't bother you anymore. We could be friends. Psych! Nah, my man pulls up with a fucking rocket launcher and blows up my man's fucking home. Like, bruh, blow up his whole home. Blow up the whole fucking shit, right? Yeah, you would think. You would think. But, um, yeah, he ain't got no home now. So, without a house, without a home, John Wick is forced to go to the Continental. Talks to Winston, the guy in charge of the Continental, right? He's like, Winston, tell me this nigga Santino is not really doing this to me, son. And then Winston is like, listen, bro, like, these are the rules. If we don't follow the rules, we'll be with the animals. Like, you know, when you have a marker, you have to either fulfill that marker or die. Like, that, those are the only two things you can do. Like, I know you're out the game right now, but this is all you can do. So he meets up with Santino. Santino straight up tells him that he needs him to kill his sister. Why? Because in this whole assassin world bullshit, right? There's a group of people known as the High Table. Because Santino and his sister, their father died, Santino's sister now is taking a seat at the High Table instead of her brother. So her brother Santino is like, Man, I feel like I would do a lot better at that seat than my sister would. So Santino's idea is like, I'll just kill my sister. I'll have John Wick kill my sister and then I'll take the seat, right? John Wick is just like, your sister was my friend at one point. That's kind of fucked up. Whatever, it's cool. John Wick's plan, honestly, at this point is just to like, to complete this marker, then fucking kill Santino. But that, we'll get to that later, right? So John Wick has to go to Rome, right? He goes to Rome, he suits up, he goes to the Continental in Rome. He gets ready to fucking body Santino's sister, right? Goes 
to some party where she's celebrating her coronation as like as part of the high table and whatever. And then she meets up with Santino's sister in some type of in her like secret quarters or whatever, right? Santino's sister is like, oh wow, my brother sent you? That's crazy. This is crazy. Guess what? Psych, you ain't killing me, I'ma kill myself. And then she cuts her wrist and she just kind of lays in the pool of blood or whatever, right? But John Wick is like, nah, 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 I gotta, I gotta get the dub, I gotta steal this kill, I'm sorry. So she, so he shoots her in the face, right? He leaves, he goes to the party, and then guess who shows up? Fucking Common, like the rapper, like the dope ass rapper Common. That was, yeah, pulled up in a whole suit. Ready to give all the smoke, right? So he goes to John Wick. He's like, oh, what up, Wick? You working tonight? And then Wick is like, yeah. And then he gets serious and he's like, well, was it a good night? And then Wick is like, unfortunately, bro. So immediately he knows what that means. He knows that he just killed Santino's sister and Common is Santino's sister's bodyguard, I'm guessing. They didn't really make it clear in the movie. Yeah, possibly. That, that could also that they could also be fucking. That could also be a thing. So immediately John Wick and Common start fighting. John Wick is shooting all over the place, shooting to get out the party, shooting to get home. He dips, but he ends up fighting Common all the way to the fucking Continental, right? And then the leader of the Continental in Rome is like, whoa, 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 whoa. No business is done in the Continental. Stop fighting and handle your shit some other way, right? They have a drink, they leave because at the end of the day, they're assassins. They understand that they have jobs to do and they respect each other, right? So John Wick goes back to his quarters and guess what? What? Guess what this bitch ass nigga Santino does? He calls my boy John up and is like, sorry bro, but what kind of man would I be if I just let you kill my sister and get away with it, right? So he puts a $7 million contract on my boy Wick's name. Why do people keep on fucking with my boy Wick? Like he won't kill you. Like he's not the person you sent to kill the fucking boogeyman. Like they keep on messing with my boy John Wick, son. They keep on messing with my boy John Wick. And then when he kills somebody, they get mad. So John Wick goes back to the States and immediately the moment he gets back, all types of assassins come and find him. Fucking there's a violinist. There was some sumo wrestler guy. He ended up actually killing two guys with a pencil. And then guess who else shows up? Fucking Common. A Again, they fight, they fight on a train. And then John Wick stabs him in the chest. And he's like, listen, bro, I respect you. Keep this knife in your chest. Cause if you pull it out, you will bleed out and die. And Common's just like, all right, cool. I guess I'm out the movie now, right? Cause he actually is out the movie after that point, right? So then Wick realizes that he just can't just be doing this shit by himself. He's trapped. He's like in a really bad spot. So he goes to some homeless guy, right? And he's like, hey, bring me to him. Tell him that John Wick needs this nigga, right? We don't know who this guy is. All of a sudden, John Wick wakes up in some right at some type of ward under Ground. And then he finds Lawrence Fishburn, random ass Matrix cameo, I guess, right? Lawrence Fishburn, or as we like to call him, Bird Nigga. Not playing with my fucking name. Bird Nigga is like, Wick, what do you need, bro? And then Wick is like, listen, bro, I just need a gun. And then Bird Nigga is like, why should I help you? There is once a time where you tried to kill me, but you gave me a choice and you let me live. But why should I help you, bro? And then Wick basically explains, listen, there is a war coming. The high table is about to do some fucked up shit. The whole thing could either go out, go down one of two ways. Either A, you can kill Santino, and then the high table will come after you, or B, I can kill Santino, and then the high table will come after me, and you'll be happy because Santino's dead. And then automatically, Birdnick is like, you know what? Somebody please get this man a gun. Gives him a gun, but it only has like, what, like six bullets? It's it's one gun with six bullets, that's it. But John Wick don't give a fuck, so he went straight to where he thought Santino was. He finds him, they have a stare off, and then he, he, tries, he tries going for his neck, right? And then he starts shooting up all his men, killing everybody in sight. So after killing multiple, 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 multiple um, of, uh, of uh, Santino's people, right? He finally finds Santino, and where? The fucking Continental, cause Santino's a bitch. And Santino's like, ha ha, I, I bet you wish you could kill me, but you can't because I'm in the Continental. And then Wiss is over in the corner like, yo, yo, John Wick, John Wick, chill, chill. I know what you want to do. Just don't do it, right? But then Wick is like, fuck it. Fuck the Continental. Fuck this assassin bullshit. I'm going to kill this nigga. So he shoots him in the face in the Continental. I didn't go over this last episode, but when you do business in the Continental, just like what happened to the last girl that did business in the Continental, you die. You get excommunicado and then you die. So right now, Wick is basically dead. He's not only is he out of the whole Assassin's Guild shit or whatever, he's also basically dead. But John Wick is kind of too cool to just get killed off like that, right? So after going home for a sec, he gets called by Winston and Winston is like, hey, listen, I'm not just gonna off you like that, bro. You the main character of the movie. I can't just kill you. We have a whole new movie coming out. We can't, <laughs> we can't kill you, bro. Like you gotta survive, right? He's like, instead, I'm gonna give you, I think it was an hour. I think he gave him an hour. Before he let him go though, he showed him everybody 
that was watching him. Like I said, he's excommunicado. Everyone's out to kill him now. He's a target to everyone. At the same time though, he is John Wick. So don't just be out here thinking that you could just kill John Wick because you can't. But yeah, John Wick 2 ends with John Wick basically going like, hey, listen, send as many people as you want. I'm gonna kill them all. And that's it. Then he goes running away with his dog. And then John Wick 3 happens literally minutes after John Wick 2. This whole saga takes place in like a week. Like that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that's wild, but that's the story of John Wick 2. Yeah. What's going on, Dochi fam? And thank you once again for watching this new episode of What Really Happened, covering the story of John Wick Part 2. We're going to do John, John Wick Part 3 next time, and it's going to be fire. If you enjoyed this video, do not forget to like, share with all your friends, comment what other movie you want to see me cover in future episodes of What Really Happened, and subscribe if you want to see more of me, while also pressing that bell notification button, because if you do not, you will never know when I upload new content, and that's going to suck for both me and you. Shout out to Brayden, Angel, Grazor, and all my other dope pages that make videos like this possible with their very kind donations. And if you are not already a patron, please feel free to go to my Patreon page in the description below and find out how you can support the channel for as little as $1 a month, fam. And we have shirts available if you wanna buy yourself a shirt. Check out the description link in the description below and get yourself a shirt. But if you cannot afford to get a shirt or become a patron, it's all good. Liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, all that stuff still really helps out a lot. We 10K away from 100K, so with that being said, we will see See you again with John Wick 3. So as usual, be easy, stay lit, and take care.